Hello, hello everyone. All right, so, ooh, lighting, lighting change. Um, I uh, did, was a special guest on a radio show. Is that the way you say that? Let's just leave it like that, right? I was a special guest on clangbox.fm um, on the show Love Box. And some of you wanted to hear it, but I don't think there's a recording of it. I have no idea of any of that stuff. If I figure out a link, I will get it to you. What I do have for you guys is I did try and record some of it um, visually, video style, and I chopped it all up because it's like an hour show. Um, and YouTube, I don't think, is going to allow me to upload something that size. So I cut it all up, and you'll at least get to hear some of this stuff. So, have fun. We talk about thigh gaps and body size correlation to health and sex and the morning after and what we look like and confidence and all this stuff. Bunch of fun stuff. We talked about quite a bunch of fun stuff, so check it out. Tonight's topic of choice is your body. (laughs) Um, So actually, Annie, if you want, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your Tumblr and kind of what you were doing on YouTube and stuff like that around uh, positive body image (laughs) Um, and like what's going on in the world. Inform, Inform the uneducated masses. Well, okay, so Stop Painting Your Body is a Tumblr I created um, in 2010 uh, after I reached this crazy emotional epiphany about my body and myself and the world. Um, I dealt with body dysmorphic disorder when I was a preteen and a teenager. And for those of you who don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it's um, basically a mental illness uh, where you don't see yourself as you really are. So in my instance, it was, I would look in the mirror as an average size 12 year old girl and I would see a caramel colored rhinoceros (laughs) in the mirror. I would see a very, 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 very large person with a very, very large nose and just, it it wasn't, it wasn't um, what the reality was. Um, And uh, due to several different influences had terrible self-esteem and terrible body image, um, but when I was in college, I was inspired by the people around me to overcome this and to start thinking differently. Um, and even though I may not be some kind of supermodel, of uh, just love myself as I am. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, even though, even though you know, I'm not a size two and blonde and and gorgeous in the idealistic way, you can still feel that way about yourself and you can still love yourself. And so I wanted to spread that message over the internet. Uh, One of our first questions is actually from one of our email submissions um, from box at clangbox.fm. The question comes from North Carolina, struggling with my thighs not being able to touch. How do I? <laughs> how what do I? What do you do about this? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, <laughs> the the funny thing about the fat about thighs touching, it's a very uh, the fat about thighs. Yeah. Touching, or are you talking about the fact about thighs? Touching? No fat. It's a fat. It's a it's a trend because bodies and and our idealistic view on them is always trendy. It used to be trendy to be. <coughs> chubbier and now it's trendier to be thinner and there's just different body type trends and it's all very awful it's all a lot of money making things marketing things because they can sell you how to lose enough weight to to make your thighs that skinny exactly and before it was they can make money by giving you pills to make you chubbier to make you thicker which is what was sexy back then and it's sexy now and all bodies are sexy always. Um, I would agree. Love your body. <laughs> it would take such drastic measures, and it's not something... Here's the thing about changing your body. I'm, I don't have a problem with changing your, changing your body. 
Um, as long as when it's people, for health reasons. Like, no, 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 not even for health. Like, I think that, you know, we're our own, you know, art project. Like, there's there's different things that we do to our bodies. We dye our hair. We, we get piercings. We get tattoos. We get all these things. We shave our pubes and, like... A shape. <laughs> in kitty cat? Wait, cat, have you shaved your pubes in the shape of a cat? Wow. <laughs> uh, we do different things to, to, to our bodies just, you know, as decoration. We, we, we like to change up our look every once in a while. Um, but the problem comes when you let the eagerness of those changes affect how you feel about yourself. So, for example, I'm not going to be depressed about myself uh, and hating myself because I can't afford another tattoo. <laughs> like, uh, like, people will start doing that with the weight loss, with uh, different things that they cannot change about their body. Because they can't change them, it completely affects the rest of their life. And when it does that, that's when you want to check yourself and make sure that you're not hurting. Um, <laughs> shout out. Um, but uh, our next question came in through Twitter. How do you deal with yourself when you are having a bad body day? Um, I still get those. Um, there, there's people like me when I was uh, 12 years old. Age doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just about where you're, where you are in your body image. Um, when I was when I was a, in my adolescence, I had bad body days every day. I literally thought that at the sight of me, my peers would hold in their gag reflexes, like they like would vomit at the sight of me. That's how bad my self esteem was. That's how bad it was. So bad it was. Um, and um, and. Being that it was body dysmorphic disorder, um, it's still not entirely gone. I still get some weird episodes where I look in the mirror and see something that's not there, and it's very much a hallucination. Um, so what do you do when you're... so? But, like, how do you deal, like, when you're having those days? Like, what are your... Like, what, what your coping Yeah, mechanism? like, what's your coping mechanism? Uh, th there's different things that I'll do. Um, often I'll look to someone that I trust, um... In my instance, it's my mom, and I'll ask see her. You are. Don't call me. <laughs> and I'll, I'll ask my mom. I'll be like, Mom, I'm seeing some crazy shit in the mirror right now. Um, please tell me if what I'm seeing is real or if it's a hallucination. And she'll tell me, and I'll trust her, and I'll and I'll take a deep breath. But the thing is, I'll still see it. So then, you got to fight it. And the way that I fight it is. Um, that it doesn't matter. For example, let's say that uh, the mirror will show me an image of a caramel colored 500 pound rhinoceros. Uh, I gotta look in that mirror and be like, okay, so what if I am? So what if I'm a 500 pound rhinoceros? Then you're a fabulous like, 500 exactly. pound caramel some, colored put right some glitter now. on it. Amazing go get a hair. drink and work. Like, it doesn't <laughs> go get a drink and work. <laughs> like, exactly. Just like feel good no matter what state you think you are in and that goes for whether whether it's like me and i'm a little you know off versus if you have power to you if you are like naturally that thin because yes. i can dig it um i have a friend that wears like size 26 pants and he's just naturally that thi thin and he eats like a dump truck he eats like you're just like sure throw whatever vegan thing you're eating right now in but he yeah. like eats like it's going out of style and i'm like all right so like if that's your case cool but like where do we where do we draw where do we draw that line in which we are like positive about the way we look and like when when have we crossed the line on like how thin is too thin and how thick is too thick well when you talk about the terms of physical health versus mental health which is a lot of what body image is uh, a lot of body image is about our mental health and yeah. and most of us most of us are suffering and don't even know it most of us are are looking at ourselves in a way that is not real and are aspiring to be things that may or may not be real but uh they are taking a toll in our lives and our and on our priorities mm -hmm. um when you talk about physical health and its relevance to size it's such a like different spectrum because because 
you cannot judge someone's health via their size. Okay. As you've just said, as you just said, uh, you can be extremely thin, but eat all you want. Same goes for vice versa. You can be very large and have an extremely healthy lifestyle. Everyone just like it's a it's a matter of if we're talking about you know just a public uh, idea of what is socially acceptable visually as a size. We can't we can't say those things. Any anything that involves someone's health is their business and their business alone. Ten ways to look thin in bed. Like, Why do you want to look thin in bed? Uh, then you turn off the lights, way. bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if you're really stressing it that much. But, like, but like, yo, guess Help what? Me. You're naked. The other person doesn't care. They're just happy they have you naked. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, they are blessed. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, at that point, you don't even focus on, like, oh, my gosh, you're grabbing my wall. More like, come on, grab that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, like, fuck it. Like, if you're stressing out about looking thin, I don't give a shit. I've already got you naked. I'm a, I'm happy as a pig and shit. But what about when it's over? Can you get out of bed absolutely naked? With it, I don't know. You, I'm, and you guys, are, and this one here is going to go with me with the monogamous relationship. Like, I'm comfortable with him. I trust him. But, like, with, like, let's say someone that you don't absolutely trust, can you roll out of bed and be like, I don't care? Yes. Damn. No, I steal the fucking covers. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> don't play. Like, they've already seen everything, so what's the point? I've done that. Like, I, I, well, I don't know. Uh, that may be my level of comfort with sexuality, but, like, I, I still, like, when the sun comes up and everything's bright and all and all there for everyone to see, I'll grab the covers before I go to the bathroom. Oh, I see. I, you know, the way I see it is, like, okay, you have been in places that... Not necessarily a whole lot of people have been. Potentially, you, not a whole lot of people have been. <laughs> your face in theory. has been closer than uh, what people's faces have been to me. Yeah, so my by neck, that point, my back, exactly. like my arm. Uh, exactly, we need but, to blow Kim on the next that show. Point, <laughs> at that point, like really, I mean, you've, you've seen things that Some people lot, are just like, scared, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's no, that me. weird in-between zone, and I find myself sometimes being like, I have to look good right now. Like it didn't yeah, matter it's before. A it, it, it didn't matter like before I went in, but like now that the sex is over, I'm like I want you to keep thinking that but like I'm, hot. I'm <laughs> yeah. I want you to be like mmm, sexy lady. <laughs> no, for me, it's just like you already seen everything. What's the point? Damn, yeah. that's comfort. You know what? But that's yeah. Like, but that's, that's like yo. Here's my bandage snatch. That's the up. But those are different levels. Those are different levels. Just like and, and like it's your comfort with sexuality versus your comfort with your body and that potentially is two different things is your comfort with sex versus your comfort with your aesthetics with what you look like I could feel that I, I, I could get that how are we doing time wise halfway there we're flying through yeah. I have this question though because I've heard this from several girls um, Actually, from a particular girl. It's like, how do you deal when you sleep with someone, right? Uh -huh. And they see you with makeup. Do you wake up in the morning and put on makeup before they wake up? Fuck them! No, but I have 24 hour makeup, so it's all. <laughs> Sleeping and like I, I I felt I felt gross so I like I get out of the with someone <laughs> and like I think all, I did, I did the natural look I like <laughs> I, a little I, bit of lip gloss a little bit of I did, I did a little chapstick no I just did a little chapstick and a little like. A, you know that little eyeliner that makes your eyes look a different shape? <laughs> I feel, I feel so much. I feel like my shelf life has expired. All my friends that know me are, are like, you're not a spring chicken anymore. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm 24! I was like, I'm not even a quarter century old, bitch! Damn. See, I, I personally... you be a quarter century old. I personally feel fucking great. I feel better than when I did when I was 23. Cause you're probably even hotter now! <laughs> the 
but but we're talking about like your sexual peak, like where you're enjoying sex the, the most. most. Oh. Past your thirties, you're supposed to like. It's uh, for me, it's been that way. When I'm sitting on so you've been thirty for like six Almost months. A year. Shut up. It's been six months. Are you thirty? <laughs> God. I know she looks like she's 12. Oh my god. No way, dude. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> you're, you're, no way. <laughs> I don't believe it. I need to see some ID. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe it. Check my clutch, bitch. <laughs> when you go to bed with a partner and you have makeup on, how do you deal with it in the morning? Do you reapply makeup before your partner wakes up? Fuck that! <laughs> 24 hour makeup. <laughs> no, that's, that's what happens. No, 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 that's my truth! That's what I do! That's what I but like, am! Ju but just the lipstick or is it all 24 hour? No, I'm, that sure, seems like I'm, a commitment. No, I'm sure I wake up with raccoon eye and, and she'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> I, just, I just think like once they have seen your vinegar face, past that, it doesn't matter how they see you. Vinegar face? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, what is that? Face? Face? What is that? Face? It sounds, oh God, it sounds like super, it sounds super sourpuss. Like when I wake up in the morning, what? I'm a bitch. I don't care what I look like. No, she's like, talking about vinegar face means I'm something talking, else. Yeah. Oh, it's like, very much do you mean your orgasm face? Is that what you mean? Like, yeah. like dry orgasm oh face? No, 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 no. Okay, so it's been a while since I've gone to bed that size. <laughs> oh, it's been a while for me too. <laughs> Sorry for all those people listening. I think we should have some more stuff for you because it was a really funny, awesome, fun show to do. Uh, but that's all I have right now. Again, if I figure out a link or something where you can listen to the whole show, I will get it to you if you want it. <laughs> um, but that's all for now. So I will see you guys eventually. Sooner than you think. <laughs> Bye.